Hi, welcome to Country Tech. I'm Jerry Donahue, and I'm going to show you a few tips. a similar lick that uh, ends in G, though. Here it is slowly. Two, three, four. Here's the right hand. Kind of a diminished slick that will uh, take you, it's like a D diminished going into an A and then back to D. When I first got started, uh, I actually played classical guitar for, for about uh, three months, and um, just because I had to, it was the only way I could get an electric. My parents would uh, buy me an electric uh, at the end of a year if I showed that I was serious enough. So I played that classical for about a year and had three months worth of uh, lessons. But I really wanted to play rock and roll, and, and then that developed into the country. Uh, so pick, you know, back and forth between the pick and the, uh, the middle and ring fingers. Something to practice would be uh, kind of. the middle and ring fingers. And then you can get into other chords afterwards. It's just a nice way to develop uh, coordination. Another thing that's handy in uh, country is um, is the chicken picking technique, and um, you can do it a number of ways. Either by just just using the flat pick with your uh, your thumb and your index finger very close to the edge, so that you get kind of a snappy sound like that. Or between uh, using the, the pick and uh, alternating with the middle finger. And you can get a chicken picking kind of technique even while you're double stopping as well, which is uh, using just kind of half muting as well on the on the the pick side, so on the D string. Though. It's just kind of stubbing the the uh, string out and not letting it ring very much. I'm going to show you a tune now called The Beak, uh, which you heard at the beginning of the tape. It's an array of the different uh, techniques that I use. And uh, before I break it down for you, I'm just going to play it one more time with the band. Here's the first phrase slowed down.
next phrase is back to A and starts with an open G string, sliding up to a C sharp note. Which brings you to the uh, E chord. It's kind of a chicken picking thing. Brings, to, brings you to the next bar, A. Okay, over the E, after the E, the <coughs> E and D chords. D, A, and that brings you to the next series, next round. Finishing with the, uh, the bend, parallel bend behind the nut, the D and the G both going up a full tone. Getting you back to the A at full speed. Thank <laughs> you.